all right you're welcome to blockchain plus in this video i will show you how to do your pi kyc and get yourself verified on the pi network lots of people are having issues and difficulties getting their account verified on pi and that is because many people do it the wrong way so i'm going to show you all the right processes the things you need to do so that you'll get your account verified as soon as possible okay if today is your first time of visiting my channel please do what to hit the subscribe button or the follow button so that you follow my channel and also give this video a like comment leave a comment in the comment section telling me what aspect of this video you really enjoyed or if you have a question you can drop it in the comment section and i will do well to answer all of your questions and then if you want to become part of the blockchain community blockchain plus community where i teach people how to trade and invest in, in cryptocurrency and make money trading in cryptocurrency or investing in cryptocurrency there is a link in my bio there is a link in the comment section of this video do it to hit that link follow that link and then you will see how to join our blockchain plus community all right with that said let us dive into the video of the day so this is pi i know that a lot of people are mining pi but if just in case you're not mining pi use the link on my bio now or in the description and start mining pi right away because pi is not just like any other airdrop that you are seeing in the, on telegram pi is, is 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 a movement of its own and this project when it launches if you're not part of it you're going to cry that you missed this project All right so this is what you're supposed to do or what you need to do to get yourself verified when you come to buy in fact before you come to buy like this and start all the verification process make sure to download the pi browser you can see pi browser here so go to your play store let me open play store click on search and click on pi browser let me touch pi browser you can see it here pi browser this is it so i have installed it so install the pi browser because you're going to need it right so when you install the pi browser the next thing you want to do is to click on pi so when you click on pi first of all come to this three dash here. you can see this three dash here click on it you see home you see mainnet you see all of those things click on the mainnet first you see pi browser here you can also download it from here if i click on this place now it's going to bring me to this place now because i've already downloaded it all i need to do is to sign in once i click on this place now to sign into pi browser it's going to take me automatically to the pi browser right but if you don't have it it's not going to ask you to install the pi browser because it says here install and sign into pi browser because if you know you need to install then sign in so that you will link both the pi browser and the pi app together so let me go out of the browser and come back to that three dash then you see this mainnet click on this mainnet first if you click on the mainnet then you're going to see everything consigning your your coins right you see unverified you see transferable right then you come to this place you see mainnet checklist click on this mainnet checklist to see if you are following the process now if you see my own here deadline to complete your kyc 153 days now if your own is showing less your own is showing um let's say for instance my wife own is showing 38 right 38 days but my own is showing 153 days and she has been disturbing me please come and connect it come and connect it for me so i have connected her own for her but i've done her kyc but i have not done my own because i, I feel like okay i have more days to go maybe something like that that i'm reluctant to do everything but now let me just show you all that you need to be doing once you see your day the next thing you need to do is to download pi browser which we have done and then sign in once you do that and sign in this will be completed on that pi browser the next thing you need to do is to create your pi wallet so i've created my pi wallet let me just click on it you see as i clicked on it it's taking me to pi browser immediately because you need it now this is the pi browser welcome to pi browser on the pi browser you can see fireside wallet brainstorm okay so let me go back that's because i clicked on create wallet so it's taking me directly to the wallet so this is the wallet right so when you click on this wallet now 
if you click on that place it's going to bring you directly to this place now because i've already created my own all i need to do is to enter the 12 seed phrase to unlock my wallet right but if you have not created you are going to see create new wallet or you click here <coughs> excuse me say so lost your passphrase you can create a new wallet so you click on this one to create a wallet once you click on this let me see click on this you can see create a new wallet so just follow the prompt to create your wallet now important thing you need to do once you create your wallet make sure to save the passphrase that is this one that you are going to be using to unlock it is a 24 word passphrase make sure you save it securely because whenever you want to open your wallet you will need it and if you don't have it your whatever you have uh, you have sent to it from your pi browser will be lost lost forever ot law it will be gone so you make sure you save it securely then let's go back now once you save it you've created the wallet you've saved it this one will be checked this one will be completed then confirm your pi wallet now once you you create it they are going to also create a wallet for you and see this is my wallet address so i'm going to click here you can see enter your 24 seed 24 word passphrase that 24 word that you copied from your pi wallet that says you save securely copy it and paste it here and then click confirm wallet you understand once you do that you've confirmed your pi wallet you can see they said here never enter your passphrase on any other arbitrage page save it in fact nobody should ask you of it that you're going to give it except you don't have money there but if you have money there do not give it to anyone <coughs> so let me go back now once you do that you've completed your pi wallet this thing now the next thing you need to do is to click on lock up to lock up to lock up part of your pie you must do this section i have not done it but i want to do it now with you so that you will see so i'm going to click on this to start now you see here say lock up percentage so i want to lock up 100 percent of whatever i'm receiving but i don't want to lock it up for three years you can lock up for three years but i don't want to lock up for three years i want to reduce it to six months first i just want to use this to test so if i'm locking up for three years you can see that i'll be having you can see that i'll be having 503 percent after three years but let me do six months first 125 percent right so 100 percent. i want to lock up everything then i'll click on confirm now me locking up everything doesn't mean that you should lock up everything from your own end right you can decide to lock up any amount you want to lock up so i'll just click on confirm click commit and lock up right so i'll click on this now i have locked that up so that one is now verified let's go and see it you see commit to lock up is completed now secure your account now this is the next one you need to do all of these things are the things you need to do now this your secure your account now is to secure your account with um, a passcode or whatever you need to secure your account right so once you do that the next thing you need to do is to sign in sign acknowledgement to receive tokens so let me click on this now to sign the acknowledgement now this is just it you just come down just scroll all of this thing down and click on i accept then enter your 24 word passphrase here that 24 word that i said you should save so i'm just going to copy my own paste it here and click continue all right all right so i've pasted my own i'm just going to blow this place out so that you will not see it but i've pasted my own and i'm now click sign in so you can see your wallet is set i was supposed to pick this but i did a mistake and that went up so you can see i've signed the acknowledgement sorry for that i've signed the acknowledgement that one is completed now after you have done all of these steps that are listed from one to six that is when you cannot submit your kyc application you understand 
So because all of this is need to do it step by step. So for your KYC application, let me show you what you need to do there. For this, you need to also go through the Pi browser. So that is why I said you must download the Pi browser. Right, so let's wait. It's loading the Pi browser. It's loading the KYC from the Pi browser. You remember that the KYC is on the Pi browser. So let's wait for it to load. So now, this is it. It's on the Pi browser. So this is it. Now here you choose your language, English. So date of birth. I'm going to choose my date of birth here. So I'm going to put it here. So that's my date of birth. And then country region, I'm going to choose Nigeria. So ID card type. Now, let me open it up so that you will see the type of ID card that you need. You can see it here. You can see premium name slip, driver's license, national ID card, passport, then standard name, name slip. So, any one you have is okay, but make sure the front and the back is clear enough because you're not going to, you're going to snap it with your phone and also make sure that your phone camera is clear enough. Do it during the day so that you put it in a place that the lighting is bright enough to capture the details well because those are some of the things that makes it difficult and delays your time of what kyc so once you choose that let me just choose premium name slip so i'm going to select this and click i agree select this and click i agree then i'll click on let's go so here now it says it says id photo take a photo of your id card passport driver's license whatever you have chosen then you go here type your information you go out identity confirmation that is yourself follow the steps on the screen to confirm your identity that is taking your selfie then the last one is what pi payment right so you click on next now this is it so make sure you do all of these steps once you 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 have reached here the next thing you need to do is to click on i am ready right so now once you click on it you click on allow but right now i can't continue my own phase of doing it because Right now, you can see my time here. It's around 1.55 a.m. And I want to use the, the bright daylight to do this, right? So I just say, let me show you the processes. Once you do this, you snap your own. You complete these three steps here. One, two, three. You complete three steps. You are done. You will now wait for them to approve your own. If you follow all the steps I have listed from beginning to now, you are surely going to get your... KYC approved. All right, guys. And then once you're done with that, the next one is wait. Of course, when you do this, wait for the results. And after that, you migrate your pie. So once that is done, as we keep going, I will also show you how to migrate your pie and do the rest process. And that is why I said you should follow this account because in this account, I teach you, teach you everything about cryptocurrency and blockchain and how to become successful in that niche and how to become successful in cryptocurrency or blockchain all right guys so that is it for me in this video till i come your way again remain blessed